All right, morning, morning, everybody. We are out west. I'll tell you what, I stayed at the Best Western Rocky Mountain Lodge last night, and um, I found a deal online, so a lot of the hotels slash motels out near Kalispell and Whitefish Way you can fly into, a lot of them are pretty expensive. So I'll definitely do some price shopping and this one ended up being the best price and it was a really nice hotel. So that was pretty sweet. That gives me about a mile to walk to the train station this morning. Jeez. Right when I start filming, cars come by. So about a mile to get to the train station this morning. And um, I left a little earlier than I needed to, six o'clock. And that, that hotel, it also offers shuttles from the airport, which I really wish I would have known because I got into Montana's airport, Kalispell, and I ended up waiting an hour and a half because the taxis were booked up. Everything was booked up. I finally got in the taxi one of the taxis and the lady's like, you know that hotel offers a shuttle? I'm like, oh man. So I got back out of the taxi, hopped in the shuttle and um, got to the hotel around five o'clock last night. It was about a 16 hour travel day for me. Flew out of Asheville. But we are finally back out west. And um, like I said, beautiful, beautiful hotel. Whitefish, I haven't walked far in it yet. But um, I walked to this Safeway yesterday, which is like point one away from the hotel, grab some grub. And um, oh, that hotel, what I was talking about, it also offers, it also offers shuttles to the train station itself, but I've never walked through Whitefish. So I wanted to walk through the town. Um, Stretch my legs a little bit with all the travel yesterday. And um, yeah, a little chilly this morning, a little bit of rain. <laughs> Funny enough, I got hailed on yesterday. I've been sweating in these summer months and come out here and it starts hailing. So that was fun. But yeah, just walking to the train station. Hopefully the permits work out. I did not reserve in advance. I did the walk-in permit. And um, I got in contact with the guy that drives you to the trailhead yesterday. And he's like, people have been getting pushed back one to three days. So I'm really hoping I can get there early enough and I can just get through Hiker Lucky. The trail provides, we'll see what it provides. There's the Safeway right there. So yeah, all in all, good experience. And Whitefish welcomes you over there. So, it is June 24th. I hope to start today. Might not be able to. See what the rangers say. But yeah, that is my plan. All right, let's go check out Whitefish. Peace. So I was, uh... I was laughing a little bit because you don't see a sign like that every day. Summer ice skating. <laughs> Man, the contrast between uh, the Pinhoti I did earlier this year and I'm not even on trail yet, but being up west and I'm gonna be hopping on that PNT. Contrast is amazing. All right, we should be getting close to um, downtown. Just, uh, you're not gonna be able to see it over there. Temperature gauge just read 47. It's a pleasant 47 though. It's not, it's not too bad at all. All right, let's go check out downtown. All right, sorry if some of this video is blurry. I'm trying to wipe off the screen as best as I can. A little less blurry. 
But there's another hotel you can stay at. Um, it's pretty much smack dab in the middle of downtown, hence the name, Downtowner. And then Eureka, that's a uh, second resupply point. Pole Bridge, then Eureka, mile 134, I believe. So pretty cool. I think the Downtowner might have been close to the same price as where I stayed. I'm not positive, I don't remember really looking into that one too much. But yeah, beautiful walk this morning, beautiful town. I love towns in Montana. It feels good to be back, y'all. It feels good to be back. All right, let's go get to this uh, train station. Wait a minute. All right, so just took the Amtrak into East Glacier. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but um, man, oh man, it feels good to be back. Uh, met some CD, CDT or met a lot of CDT Soboers. Um, I'm with Rebel right now. I'll get to get him on camera, and he's a flip CDT flip flopper. No PNTers yet, but keep the hopes up. And um, everybody's going to get their permits today, so I'm gonna go get with the bubble and uh, pull up. Okay, that was that was stupid. But um, yeah, we're back in Glacier, and we're inside the depot. And we're gonna go try to get get our permits. Shout out to DB. Um, hope you're doing well on the PCT, brother. PCT. <laughs> um, hope your leg heals up, man. And yeah, we're gonna go enjoy Glacier. Beautiful spot, beautiful spot, man. And yeah, DB, it's been a while, man. I wish we were hiking, but you got the PCD to do. PCT. Okay. Peace. All right. So today's June 24th. Um, little afternoon right now and I was able to get my glacier park permit so only gonna be in the camp in the park for two days gonna start at Chief Mountain go to Hawksbill for the first night wait no here's the first night oh MOJ for the first night and then Hawksbill for the second night so yeah was able to get it walk right in a um, bunch of CDT Soboers in front of me, about three or four I met, and then met a pnt -er. he's actually in the shop right now getting his permit, Cy, which um, all, us, our, all our CDTers last year, he was the guy that left the comments for all the water sources, so super cool. And yeah, I was able to get the permit pretty easily. Now, just the next step of the journey is figuring out how to get to the trailhead. So we got to get all the way up to Chief Mountain and um, at Chief Mountain you can start hiking the trail but it's just getting there. There might be a shuttle, there might not. So if there's no shuttle, we're going to have to hitch. And so yeah, it's just uh, once we get there, hiking's easy, but just getting there is the hike in itself. So pretty cool, pretty cool. We're back in Glacier. All right, now we just gotta start hiking westbound, like I said, get to the trail, and it doesn't look too bad. Got one pass tomorrow, and yeah, it doesn't look too bad. All right, peace. Ooh. <laughs> right outside the ranger station. First sight, sight of wildlife, sweet. Look at all these packs. Alright, so I don't know what leg of the journey this technically is because it's been step by step by step process. But we are at St. Mary's. We have our little picnic table right here. And um, so we took the Glacier shuttle from Two Medicine where we got our permits into St. Mary's and it was about an hour, hour shuttle. And then from here, we are catching a ride with Turtle Man. Um, he did the AT in 2018, I believe. And he'll give us a ride all the way to the border. So that's the plan. I mean, step by step, like I said, we had to hop a train from Whitefish this morning, from Whitefish to, um, to East Glacier, then had to get a shuttle from East Glacier to Two Medicine, get your permits at Two Medicine, from Two Medicine, get a shuttle here, from 
here, get a shuttle all the way to the border. So that's where it's been. And uh, yeah, we'll be there shortly. Plug in some miles. All right. You want to say hi to the camera, or do you like getting filmed? Or no. No? And that's a uh, Rebel CDT flip flopper. And uh, yeah, he's gonna. I think we're overlapping trail for about two days, and then he goes southbound on the CDT, and then Sai. He's um, somewhere around here, but he's a PNT. Yeah, so. the Pacific Northwest Trail is too tough, man. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to last like, more than like a day. <laughs> That's what he says, man. But he's been doing all these trails, so it, it is what it is. And um, yeah, we'll be at trail shortly. Please. All right, so P PC, no, PNT. And that's. Welcome to Canada. I don't know. Um, so yeah, June 24th and starting the PNT, which you will see a sign shortly up here. And I'm going to get you that video. You might recognize this trail from last year. Shout out to DB once again, brother. Hope you're doing well on the PCT. And um, yeah, it's going to be a journey. I look forward to it. I know these miles coming up are beautiful, so I can't wait for the rest of them. Oh man. That was that was an experience feeling this bad boy last year finishing up right there. And um now we start what is this? All right, there's the Pacific Northwest Trail, baby. That's what we're gonna start. I'm gonna grab a grab a photo here and um yeah, I know the next little bit's beautiful, and I'm looking forward to the rest. All right, PNT westbound. westbound. Peace. All right, so I don't think even a mile into the trail, and it's already raining. Already raining on us. But, um... Yeah, welcome to the Pacific Northwest, baby. So, pretty sure this trail is going to have a lot of rain. Something you got to deal with along the way. But, not that much different than any other trail. You got rainy days, you got sunny days, and you got all the in-between days. So, already raining. Pacific Northwest Trail. Here we go. Just awesome. I don't know what else to say about it. Just beautiful. Just amazing. Oh my. It's just one thing after another. I know. I think it's going to give us a little something though the, the farther west we get. Can't stop taking video. Sweet. All right, DB, shout out to you, brother. This is uh, where we took the last break on the CDT. Grabbed ourselves some agua, and yeah, we finished that baby up. Um, I sat right here, maybe right there, maybe right there. Sat, this feels right, I think I sat right here. But um, yeah DB, shout out man. Um, that was our last break together on trail. And um, yeah, awesome, awesome trail. Great memories, great miles. Um, I had something else I wanted to say, oh. So, if you watch my last videos on the Pinhoti Trail, 
you'll see that I commented an excessive amount on water sources just because these water sources they were very iffy every so often and they weren't great locations and you got dry patches so I'm not gonna comment too much on the PNT's water because it's pretty much year-round a lot of these places if I hit places that I know there are dry sections or that the water is unreliable or stuff like that I will comment but if not like I said I'm not gonna be over excessive on just telling you every single water source because one that would get repetitive for me two that would get super repetitive for you because <laughs> you're just say, hearing me say oh here's a water source here's another one but yeah that was cool seeing that spot brought back a lot of good memories so we go What? All right, I'm sorry about all the videos for the first day, but let me take you on a 360 of my world right now. Came from over there. Going this way. What? Jeez. Oh man, this is the life. Uh, mileage wise, I think, GoPro's not gonna be able to pick it up, but there's rainbows everywhere. One rainbow over there, one over there, one over there. Oh my God, I'm sorry I got sidetracked, but I think at mile, uh, maybe four and a half now, about two miles to the Belly River Ranger Cabin, I believe. I believe that's where CDT and PNT split and we keep on going pnt baby but i'm i had to give you that 360 it's just it's ridiculous and as you might know if you watch the other videos day one is always super video heavy because i'm just so pumped to be out here it's just oh man one after all the travel two just just being back on trail it is the life all right, I'm gonna keep cruising. Woo, baby. I don't know if that's gonna be the last 360 view I get for the camera today. Jeez. Woo, baby. All right, so Cable Creek Campground down that side trail. And I believe we're about to hit Belly River Ranger Station. I think it's right over this fence. And I think I think this is where the PNT splits off from the CDT. I got my map, um, kind of checking my GPS right now. So once I get up here, I'll have a better, better judgment call. But this is pretty sweet, guys. Once again, you cannot get better than this. <clears throat> little muddy, little muddy, but what can you do? Um, oh, this is where it cuts off. So we go to the right, I believe, and the other trail, which is the CDT, goes that way. CDT that way, and PNT this way. Ooh, baby, let go. They're all over Glacier. They're like at every bridge. Really? 
it's like one hiker just trying to mess with you oh man oh baby <laughs> Gotta tell you, it'd be seriously cool to get in that water. Oh shit. This is where the balance game comes in. Woohoo! Who's next? Wouldn't be too bad of a swim, right? Water. Yeah. I didn't ask you or Sai. You guys don't mind being on camera, do you? No. Sai, you good being on camera? All right. All right, that's new. New? New. No, new. <laughs> Mooner. I think she got her name. Oh, yeah, Mooner's still good, yeah. Or Mooner. I've been mooning more people. <laughs> Out on that Idaho trail. His camera probably gets amazing. Yeah. Clear stuff. That's what I'm saying. The GoPro is good, like up close, but anything besides that. Dude, if I was driving out of Idaho to get here, uh -huh. and the whole time I'm along the river, oh, and one's called Clear Water, oh. National Forest is called Clear Water, and I didn't even realize that. I was just looking at the river every now and then. Was it was it was it clear? It was yeah, clear? clear. Awesome. Alright, you saw it here first. A group of three PNTers. Who would have thunk? Northbound. anybody can tell me what these are that would be awesome long stalk and big white bulbous kind of flowery head so yeah walking through a bunch of these this one might be a better yep. all right pretty cool um so about, I don't know, six miles to camp. Um, we've done about seven, 7.3-ish maybe. And I think it's eight o'clock, but I think it stays light until 10. So it'll be almost perfect timing by the time we get into camp. We didn't get a start until 5.30ish. Maybe, I would say 5.30ish, but yeah, so we're plugging away pretty good, um, pretty steady pace for the first day, but it's not a lot of uphill, and yeah, gonna get into camp, like I said, around 10ish, and that'll be a good first day, boys and girls, that will be a great first day. Aha, I forgot this the last video. I almost signed off again, but I want to give a huge shout out to Turtle Man because he does the shuttle pretty much wherever you want in Glacier to the trailhead itself at Chief Mountain. And pretty much all he does it for is gas money and just to help out other hikers. 
it was, I think, 40 bucks for three of us from St. Mary's, which I gotta tell you, that was a pretty sweet deal because I don't know how long it would have taken us to hitch. So, once again, Turtle Man, I don't know if you're watching this, if you would see it, but I wanna give a huge shout out to you. Greatly appreciate it. And, um, hike on, brother. Hike on. You got a lot of beautiful trails ahead of you. All right. I believe it's this way. Not positive, but I would think so. Anybody else's shoes really wet? Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, bringing the big battery pack is gonna pay off after all because I pulled the GoPro out to get a little video of showing you just how muddy the trail has been. I would say pretty consistently for, I would say we've gone a little over 10 miles now. So it's been pretty pretty consistently. Um, good mud, a little bit of water. And yeah, feet are soaked. But somehow I was filming the pocket of my pack for 12 minutes with the GoPro. I don't know how, and I don't know why, but that was happening. So definitely gonna edit that out. Mm -hmm. Or I could put it in. Let me know. <laughs> no, I'm not going to put it in. Um, yeah, I don't know why I was doing that. But glad I brought extra battery for things like that. Alright. It's actually getting less muddy now. Eh, you get a couple patches of not too bad mud. But for the most part, it's pretty, pretty good. Good amount of mud. Oh yeah. Cool kill. <coughs> All right. So it is uh, 9.50 and got about 0.6 to go to camp. Um, the abbreviation for the camp's MOJ. It's some, uh, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce the word, but yeah, like I said, 0.6, 9.50. So it should get in there around 10 o'clock. Just left um, the one PNT we met today. We're working on our trail name. Uh, we, right now we're going through New, Bear Bait, Mooner. So we're working on our trail name. She's camping 0.6 back with a CDT Soboer that we also met today. I can't remember his name. And she's gonna, we told her to meet me and Cy up at this camp spot. So in case Stony Indian Pass is sketchy, she'll be at least uh, around other people. So she's gonna wake up early, meet us up at the camp, and then we'll start Stony Indian Pass. And yeah, beautiful first day of hiking. I'm um, gonna probably get into camp right as it's getting dark. It's starting to get a little dark now, but I don't think I'll have to whip out my headlamp. And um, it's getting cold. 
my hands are a little chilly. My hands are a little chilly, but like I said, about a half mile in, kind of cruisy terrain, so no worries. And Rebel, he's about, I don't know, two minutes behind me. Um, yeah, we ran into him. He ended up hitching. He didn't get the shuttle with us from St. Mary. He ended up hitching ahead and we ran into him on trail about a couple miles back. So he's coming to the campsite tonight. It's gonna be me, him, Cy, and two other CDT sobowers, I believe, and whoever else is there. So beautiful first day, getting into camp a little later, probably around 10 o'clock, and get out of this wet, wet-ish gear and get into a little something warmer. All right, peace. All right, so just got to Mokawanis Junction Campground and I'm gonna go find a camp spot. So, got in a little bit before 10, 9.57-ish, I believe. Here's the cooking spot. Um, looks like we might be some of the only people here. Oh, there's a tarp tenter over there. Looks like some pretty good camp spots. Now off just to find them. I'll let you know when I find home for the night. That says pit toilet. That place is taken up. came back to the map because I wasn't positive <clears throat> where I could snag it. There we go. Up there to the right. Go down the pit toilet trail. And it's up to the right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find. <clears throat> 